Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for the algebra calculation game number one. This is for sixth grade plus, and this is from MassSalamanders.com. Make sure to check them out. They have tons of great games and walkthrough videos and worksheets just like this. Make sure to click on the link if you want to check it out. So this is the game board. This is a pretty simple game. You'll just need one or two dice. Two dice will make it tougher because it'll be bigger numbers. But essentially what you're doing here is you're picking out, uh, after rolling the dice, you're going to roll the dice, get a number, and you're going to pick out one of these expressions to evaluate. And then you're going to take turns. If you get it right, you get to keep that hexagon, and you want the most hexagons out of those that you're playing against, those with the fewest to lose, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and roll the dice, show you how this works. So I'm going to roll the dice, and I got a 5. So 5 is going to be equal to N. So 5 equals N for me. So now I can pick any one. So if you're strategic, you're going to want to pick um, more simple ones. For example, I could pick this one. That would be... 5 minus 5. And I know that it's going to be 0. So I'm going to put 0 and you, I get it right. So if you get it right, you get the space. I'm going to go ahead and paint it in. Okay, let me make it a little bit bigger. And I make it blue. Okay, so I'm going to make it bigger. I get the space now and this is mine. And uh, for example, there's a lot of strategy. If I were to choose this spot for 5, it's not so simple. So I add 24 divided by five. It's a little bit tough for problems, so you gotta be strategic with the numbers. So my other person would take a turn and he rolled a six. So for this person, we'll make this person the green person. He had six equals n. So then he's gonna pick something. Um, he's gonna pick this one. We get n squared equals, uh, well, that's the question, right? I'm evaluating, so I have six squared equals, and it's 36. That one's correct. So we can go ahead and fill this one in. We'll make it green. The colors are a little bit too similar. So let me make it like this, I guess. Okay, and you paint this in. So the person's going against the person in blue. That's tough to see. I'm gonna change this color too. So now we have blue versus green, okay? So you keep playing this game. So I'm gonna roll the die again. This person got another six, so I'm gonna pick that. And then blue could pick 10 minus uh, six, and that'd be four. So then the blue has that one done. The person rolls the dice again for the other person. This time they got a two. That one's nice and easy. They could choose, and I'm going to actually show you how to do this one. Uh, this one. So we have n equals two. That was what my dice said. So I do two times two. Okay, and anytime it's right next to the letter means multiplication. So I do two times two, and then I add that one. Two times two is four. Order of operations here. You're going to do multiplication before addition. Plus one, and that equals five. So I got it right, I get to color it in. That's my little token, okay? And then I'm done with that one, okay? And then we'll roll the dice again. Blue is up again, and we get, what did blue get? Three, so we get three. I'm just gonna try to keep going in this row here. Let's do four, okay? And then we have three plus one. Now actually, I'm gonna purposely make a mistake. So if I have four times three plus one, I'm gonna do the three plus one first. That's four, four times four equals 16. Uh-oh, one of my teammates checked it and he got a different answer. He got 13 because he did four times three first. 12 plus one is 13. So I don't get this square, okay? So that, that would be a big error on my part for blue, okay? So blue didn't get the square. Now I'm on to two. I rolled a two for green. Green person's actually gonna keep going with this one, 24 divided by two, and that equals 12. So green gets this space right here. And then let's continue. Okay, and then blue's up again. We're gonna do the parentheses one. We get a two again. So blue has a two. And you can see where if you use two dice, it'd be a little more challenging because you might have negative numbers and just bigger numbers in general. So I have two minus one times two, so that's gonna give me one times two is two, so blue's got this one now. You can see I'm trying to hurry up a little bit. And then you can even play a variation where you try to connect a certain number in a row. So maybe four in a row is the one you're going for here, just to, for variation in the game. So we're gonna roll the die one more time, and we get four. So we do six times four is 24, and then green has a connect four. So you can either do once all the hexes are covered, you see who has the most, you can do four in a row. There's all different types of variations, and some of them are listed here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a great math game, great to play in class, something to change it up. 
and even to play at home. Hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, there's a Mass Sale Managers playlist. Leave a comment if you have a question or suggestion, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.